When I'm going through any seasons of discouragement, I can nail down the causes to just a handful of things, and I'm, I'm sure that you can probably relate. Oftentimes, I'm tempted to make the smallest of issues the biggest thing. I, I forget that there could be things that would be a lot worse than the little thing that I'm dealing with now. But every once in a while, like, like any of you, I have some things that are of serious concern and things that need to be dealt with or, or, or be, uh, that have to be looked into. And so I, I have to be careful not to ignore those things or to even be overwhelmed by those things. Uh, one of the most common things, though, that I run into is a, a, a regular underappreciation of the grace that's been given to me. Tripp says in his devotional that the DNA of joy is thankfulness. So if I'm going to have joy, which is the, the counter or the opposite of discouragement, thankfulness has to be a part of the component. This is what you and I need to understand is that the gospel of Jesus Christ, his saving work of the cross made available to you and me if we confess our sins and believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel solves our worst problem. So any hangnails or any serious things like sickness or relational difficulties and stuff still pale in comparison to what could be worse in our life, which is separation from God for all of eternity. The gospel bridges that gap and makes our worst problem go away. Now we know that if we were to dwell more on that and to be more thankful for that salvation, then other things would, would trouble us less. The psalmist says in number 107 that you and I are to give thanks to the Lord because he's good. His love endures forever. And then it, we're also encouraged as the redeemed of the Lord to testify to this, to say so because he's redeemed us from trouble. And we may say, well, he hasn't, he hasn't redeemed me from all trouble. I still get the hangnails or I still have some of those relational problems or things along those lines. But, but the redeemed are, are rescued from ultimate trouble. That we no longer have to face the consequences and the penalty of our sin because Jesus carried that for him. So a rehearsal of grace, a remembrance of grace, really goes far to change our, our, uh, our thought process through life and to rid us of so much of the discouragement that holds us back. Tripp also says in his poetry for today's devotional, that, that the Lord would give us a grace to remember, a grace to see his hand working, and a grace that produces a heart of humble joy. That should be all of our prayer today. God bless you.